Hi, my name is Jay Stevenson and I'm the North American Training Leader at Cummins Filtration. Today, we'll be demonstrating the correct way to test the quality of your engine coolant using the FleetGuard three-way coolant test strips, as well as how to interpret the results. FleetGuard test strips are a quick and easy way to check the condition of nitrite-based FleetGuard coolants such as FleetCool, ES Complete, and ES Complete Note. One thing to point out before we start, if you're using a nitrite-free FleetGuard coolant such as ES Complete Oat, you'll need to use the four-way coolant test strips instead of the three-way test strips, as the presence of nitrite will cause different results during testing. For more information on using FleetGuard four-way test strips, please visit the Cummins Filtration website. It's always important to have the proper tools on hand, so before you begin testing, make sure that you have the following items. A non-porous hard surface, such as a countertop or table, fleet guard three-way test strips, a stopwatch or smartphone timer, personal protective equipment as recommended by the coolant manufacturer's safety data sheet, shop rags or paper towels for cleanup, a notepad to record the results, and finally, any coolant samples that you want to be evaluated. For this demonstration, I will be testing a sample of FleetGuard ES Complete EG Premix or 5050. Now, we won't cover coolant sampling procedures in this video, but you can find that information on our website as well. So let's get started. Today we're using FleetGuard part number CC2602A, which contains individually wrapped three-way test strips along with an instruction card and interpretation chart. The three-way strips are also available for order in a variety of quantities but all part numbers include the same interpretation charts and instructions on the label, and all are designed for the same results. So don't worry if your FleetGuard three-way test strip packaging isn't identical to what's shown here. Make sure that the test strips have not expired. Each foil package or bottle will have an expiration date printed on it. If the strips have expired, you'll need to replace them before continuing with the test. Otherwise, you may experience inaccurate test results. If they're within date, you're good to proceed. We'll start by carefully removing the individual test strips from the packaging. Make sure you don't touch any of the three chemical pads on the strips, as this could interfere with testing results. Next, make sure you have a smartphone timer or stopwatch close by and ready to start immediately after the testing begins. To begin the test, take one test strip and submerge the end with the three chemical pads into the coolant for three seconds. After three seconds, hold the test strip horizontally and shake it up and down like this to remove any excess coolant. Once you've done this, place the test strip down on a flat, non-porous surface like a table or countertop with the test pads facing up. Next, start the timer and wait 45 seconds before checking the results. After 45 seconds passes, we'll examine the results using the interpretation card. FleetGuard three-way test strips measure the percent glycol and freeze point of the coolant first, then the molybdate content, and lastly the concentration of nitrite. The results of the nitrite and molybdate readings will then be combined to provide the estimated SCA, or supplemental coolant additives, units per gallon remaining in the coolant. In other words, the overall condition of the coolant's protective qualities. Once 45 seconds has passed, we'll need to read our results within 30 seconds, so let's get started. To check the percent glycol, hold the chemical pad that is furthest from your hand against the percent glycol and freeze point scale that is included with the strips. You'll need to find the color on the chart that best matches the test strip. For this example, the percent glycol is approximately 50% glycol and provides freeze protection down to negative 30 degrees Celsius. Now let's compare the molybdate pad, which is the middle pad on the test strip, to the vertical axis on the chart that contains rows 0 through 6. Again, find the color on the chart that best matches the test pad and record that result. For this example, the best match is row 3. You may notice that row 3 is in between two of the color boxes, which is perfectly okay. Also, since not all coolants contain molybdate, it's possible to have a result of zero for this test. Finally, let's compare the bottom pad to the horizontal axis labeled nitrite and containing columns A through H. This pad best matches to column F, so let's note that as well. We have now completed the physical testing so we can dispose of the used test strip and move into the interpretation of results. The percent glycol chart is the most self-explanatory scale on the card, and as you've probably guessed, this scale provides an estimation of the percent glycol in the coolant, as well as the associated freeze point protection provided by the coolant. Now let's go back to the molybdate and nitrite results we wrote down during testing. We'll need to find the intersection point for the results to get our remaining SCA units per gallon. For molybdate, we noted row 3, and for nitrite, the results were in column F. 
These results intersect in the green section of the chart at 2.5 SCA units per gallon. At this point, we've successfully completed the testing procedure. These results can be used in conjunction with the instructions that came with the test strips to determine what adjustments or maintenance, if any, are needed for the maximum heat transfer and corrosion protection from your fleet guard coolant. Now we won't dive into the interpretation of test results in this video, but click the link in the video description below for a separate video that shows how to interpret your three-way test strip results. Remember that test strips are intended to be a quick and convenient tool for coolant maintenance in the field, but they're not designed to provide laboratory grade accuracy or to be used as a quality control tool. If in-depth testing of your coolant is required, the FleetGuard Monitor Fluid Analysis Program is available for customer use. Learn more at CumminsFiltration.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to get the latest instructional content for FleetGuard products from Cummins Filtration. <laughs>